Hello everyone, this is Ashwini Dash Gupta from Chinta. Today, I want to share with you a very interesting problem that students, parents and teachers face. And then I'll tell you how at Chinta we try to address that issue. So here's the problem. Parents tell us all the time that we have provided the children with books, great books, great teachers, not only from Chinta, from other places, of course. They have access to internet. There's a lot of resources there. And yet, they are not motivated enough. They are not motivated enough to use all those resources and embark upon a journey toward great learning. This is a genuine problem. I mean, we have heard it from students, we have heard it from parents, we have heard it from teachers. Lack of motivation in the part of the students is a great impediment toward learning. What I personally believe is that, of course, we learn things from teachers, we learn things from our fellow students, our friends, but then we have to internalize all those ideas ourselves. That has to be a conscious, self-driven journey and that requires motivation. So we have faced this issue at Chinta for last 10 years and we try to address it in a variety of ways. Today I'll share with you a couple of ways that have succeeded and maybe you can use it all as well. The first method that we have used is called passion. The tagline of Chinta is also passion for mathematical science. Look, passion in the teachers, in the fellow students, that is infectious. If you see someone getting, having great joy in doing something, that naturally instigates you to explore that thing and maybe you start getting excited about the subject as well. So we try to hire teachers who are not just any mathematics trainer, they are active researchers, people who take great pride in doing interesting problems. That is the most important aspect of Chinta great passionate teachers who are excited by beautiful problems and research perspectives. Not only that, we attach students to other kids who are also excited about problem solving. That is extremely important to get into a good group of kids. So not only at Chinta, even if you have your child getting uh, have your child's education in other places instead of looking at the flashy tools that the organization may offer uh, maybe it's a school maybe it's a coaching center focus on the teachers and how passionate they are that is really the differentiating factor that is one of the reasons that we have had great results since the last 10 years I have attached a link in the description. You can check what kind of people have come out of Chinta in the last 10 years that you have an idea. That does not happen without this conscious effort in hiring passionate and accomplished teachers. But apart from that, there is a second thing that we tried and that really worked. And that is we now ask each of our students teach other kids. One of the ways we learn things is by teaching. If we have to teach someone something, then we take a great care in actually internalizing that idea or concept in our own mind. And then, of course, we can use that idea and teach someone else that particular idea. This is true for kids. This is more true for kids, actually. Because once you give them responsibility of teaching something, they get very excited. They get very passionate about it. 
and once they get very passionate about it, they start taking interest in the subject. So this is a thing that we have started since the month of, month of January. We had a test run with 30 kids. We attached these kids with some rural schools in Bengal. So five kids from the rural school, one kid from Chenta. They make a group and they discuss interesting problems every 15 days, once every 15 days. That was happening for the last three, four months. And then we started expanding this into other groups inside Chinta. So now everyone at Chinta, whoever joins Chinta, must be teaching at Chinta as well, at least once a month. So every student, even a fourth, fifth grader student, we ask them to come forward, teach his or her fellow students once a month for half an hour. These, these experimental groups are called mathematical circles. These activities are actually motivating the kids to go into their own journey in mathematical science. Again, you don't have to join Chinta to do this. You can ask your child or if you are a student yourself, you can start teaching a small group of kids with some interesting problems, of course. You can start doing that and you will find yourself learning a lot more than you do just as a student. So two things, passionate teachers and teaching someone something. These have really worked to motivate the children to remove their apathy and help them embark, embark upon a journey in mathematical science in great learning. You can try these and uh, keep on doing great mathematics. I will see you next time. Thank you.